Edgewood Entertainment Limited presents some very limited entertainment. <laughs> A David G. and Cola film is not something you'd want to see. No. All of a scotch with a time chaser. This is like NFL graphics here. But it up, but it up, but it up, but it up. I'll take a tequila shot with a time chaser, thanks. I'm just gonna hand him off some Gatorade. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't our star, is it? I will not accept this as our star. Sorry. <laughs> you, you were spectacular. Time chaser, plane humper. I think the fuel I think I put in worked good. Hey, Marty. Want to do me a favor? A sidekick named Marty in a movie about time travel? Hmm. Oh, Marty. I, yeah. I've, uh, I've got something for your collection. 2041? We're still tied to coin-based currency in 2041? Co-starring Bruce Springsteen's little brother, Wayne. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, this can't be the hero of the film. He has a geeky 10 speed. Yeah, he should at least have a cool burnt orange stingray. Yeah. No, 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 this can't be the start, can it? Movie, movie, hey movie, can I see your supervisor movie? This will not stand. So huh. Now maybe he's going into the house to meet the real hero of the film. Maybe. Okay. Next we're gonna see the real hero of the film. Coming up. Down! Jeez. <laughs> Ooh, Seinfeld groove, man. What's the deal with wavy mullets? This time chasing is making me thirsty, Jerry. <laughs> You've got mail. Pattern baldness. <laughs> we now return to Guy vs. Wall, already in progress. The X-Files goes to Dublin. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What can I get you? Drink him in, folks. Oh, yeah. Gen Core innovators. We really can't afford to live without them. And neither can you. A division of Plasmon, part of ConMed Tech Town. <laughs> Gen Core, please design us a better logo. <laughs> yeah. Technology development. <laughs> new technology development. No, no. Marv, hey, it's me and I'm nude. I noticed you have a plan here in town, and I was wondering if you might come over and take a look. Uh, this is Pizza Hut, sir. Rockin'. Sure. Sure, I'm an unappealing actor in a bad movie. Sure. Yes, hello. Yes, I'm aware. I didn't need to take my shirt off to make this call. Yes, hello. I'm looking for bigger glasses. You see, my grandmother is turning 75 tomorrow, and she's going to try skydiving for the very first time. It's not going to go too well, if you know what I mean. Oh, two different plaids? Man, I'm a naked robot, and even I know that's a fashion no-no. Oh, yeah. Sir? Sir? Is, is that a woman? I, I've never seen one in the flesh. Mm, nice plane, but it needs more plaid. He has a computer. Wow. <laughs> Did you develop the Nick, well, I just realized your grandmother died when we were kids. And so. nobody has He's more than like one grandmother. Paul. He's with Gen Corp Aviation. Nick, there's no grandmother? No, I lied about that. Ah, uh, but don't worry. There is a story here. Story is, local pointy chin liar disappoints everyone he meets. <laughs> ah, beautiful day. Perfect weather for getting in a tiny plane with a man you already know you can't trust. Okay. Now. The real reason I brought you both up here today... To crash. Well, this stuff. Um, uh, enables who's ever inside it to... Uh, get a film career that quickly dies. To so. Travel through time. You brought us up here this morning to look at your... Hinder. Time machine. <laughs> That's, do you think you could land this plane? I mean, I really don't have time for this nonsense. I've got, got to manage the Undertaker! <laughs> Thank you, Paul Bearer. You're welcome! What the hell, Nick? Take us 50 years into the future. By okay. then, I'll be old enough see, to settle for you. This PC is connected to a series of molecule accelerators. Let's see, 50 years. Uh, September 24th. You forgot the space after the comma. We're all doomed! Ah! Uh, Lisa? What? Hold on. Lisa, you're in the basic laws of physics are tearing me apart! Oh, hi, the future. We're in Dar es Salaam. The future means cheesy graphics. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. The um, future. Yeah. Ah. Can we turn the phone rush tomorrow? Oh my God, another call. I'll call you back. So in the future, kids become gay agents. <laughs> Cars have been outlawed, but not their parking spots. Nope. Citizens, Lisa Kudrow. It's her. Citizens, the Church of the Holy Hologram needs your cash now. George Lucas inserted that guy at the last minute. Yeah. Made completely of animal feces. You see, in the future, men wear long leather coats, and there are junior colleges right here. See? Hey, look, a lesbian of the future. <laughs> Food courts of the future. I don't believe it. In effect, you could use this thing to change history. Oh, yeah, we could prevent Newt Gingrich, Jim Carrey, and the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> That's not why I brought you here. I want you to buy me an Orange Julius. This is big. Big and pink. This is very big. What's the use of a time machine for Gen Core? I'll give you an example. Um, you could send an egg into the future. We could study the long-term effects that we're having on our environment. We could, uh... We could send Bob Saget to meet Charlemagne. God, the interest alone would make you a millionaire. Yeah, well... I'm going over to Sparrow. I take it we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever be ready. I'll bring you back on a tour sometime. I like that. Oh, man, here we go. <laughs> I gotta get a call into Robertson. I'll walk back to the past. And they fly through another spirograph drawing. <laughs> I left my keys at the Manchu Walk of the future. Here they come. Who's got the rice? <sighs> no. Hi, I'm Bob Evil. <laughs> Everyone, this is an auspicious day in the history of the world. Yup. Today, we have entered the fourth dimension. Sure did. We're about to be the only ones with the key. Yup, 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 yup. Yes, drinkable pizza is Nick. finally here. I'll have a car pick you up. Miss Henson. Your lens cap is still You're on. You're part of this project, and I want you looking for... That's possible? No, it isn't. Excellent point. I don't think I have to tell you how important... We don't brook back sass from our fillies, Nick. You have to expect this sort of thing, Nick. <laughs> People want as big a piece as they can get. Yep. Now, I'm going to leave a couple of men here to watch the hangar until we can set up a full facility here. You think that's necessary? Absolutely, but it's just a precaution. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, ignore that smell of hot sulfur. Nick, I must also ask, well, yeah. am I making myself clear on this? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. You're evil and that's okay. No one would believe me anyway. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Let's go, boys. Let's go, director's college buds who brought their own suits to the shoot. Uh, letter to Jacobson. I want you two to stay here until the deployment arrives. And Matt, you are now VP. I want to see you in an office on my floor first of the week. Yes, sir. In a more dignified suit. First of the week, or as humans call it, Monday. <laughs> Let's see. Chin reduction. Hmm. Did somebody tape a dinner roll to his chin? or? Loser status confirmed. Ah, I just made millions. I think it's a two apple week. Oh, yeah. Nikki! Mrs. Hines, how are you? How's your ketchup empire? I was you can always come to my house, <laughs> but you never do. Because I'm frightened of you. <laughs> ah, the haunting bakery theme. The uh, sample ladies got pizza in aisle five. I'd like to double bag you. Sign? I sign the next day. You may have noticed my two apples. So, uh, you cooking dinner? Are you offering dinner? No, I'm saying make me dinner. <laughs> yes, yes I am. Well, what should we get? Nothing, you. Nothing. I've got a better idea. Let's eat a bicycle. That's a better idea. We're listening to the light jazz station. <laughs> I learned the truth at seventeen. That love was made for beauty queen Well, I'm lost in love oh, and I don't know oh, much When you get caught between the moon and New York City Ooh. Every night I'm lying in bed <laughs> Holding you close to my dream Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, we rented three vintage cars, and damn it, we're going to use them. She's going to ditch him mid-date for Mr. Peabody. Uh -oh. Now for some good old-fashioned 50s heavy petting. Shouldn't he be, like, piloting the plane? Nick, what is that? That means I like you. What is it? My God. There's something very wrong here. There's no food courts. 
looks like there was a war. You'll have to take my word for it. We can't afford to show it. I brought diagnostic on the computer. Everything is fine. <laughs> the lithium crystals are fine and uh, everything else. Ben and Jerry's was the key to the Armageddon. <laughs> Watch out for roof-dwelling sweatpant people. They're thick as flies around here. Thick in many ways. <laughs> There's got to be someone around still somewhere. <laughs> Chimney sweeps took over the future. Uh, I'm Nick, and this is... Honey. This is Lisa. Permission. Easy, easy. Look, we're not from this time. Oh boy. From the past. Travel, huh? Which, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know about time travel? Where's your transport? Tell us what's Where's happened here, please. Tell me where your transport. Oh. The death of Anthony Michael Hall. Wow, people are opening a lot of beers in there. <laughs> Did somebody just serve salsa from New York City? <laughs> So it's an armed Levi's ad. You're gonna give me all your soil and green, man. <laughs> oh, you, know, you see, I hire the guy who works in your dad's print shop as an actor, and this is what you get. <laughs> We're taking you to see the Grand High Dirt Bag now. Nick? Yeah. Don't tell anyone else about the transport. Right. I don't think their date's going that well. Well, you know, on the other hand, this is always going to be their own little apocalypse. Uh -huh. The L.L. Bean Gang. Arr, 16 men on a dead Dodge Dart. <laughs> Sherry, action realtor. Hey, quiet. Big boys don't cry. Walker, Texas Porker, fails again. Travelers. Travelers? Do you still have your transport? Uh, no. Stolen. By elves. Yeah. How did you know that we were Because you ain't from around here. Nobody from around here looks like you for long. Where's your filth? Stolen, huh? Ah, damn. Did you find water? No. Made some, though. <laughs> Please, just tell us what happened. What's happened is obvious. The director hired his cousins. This is all my fault. Exactly. We were here before and everything was fine. What? The future Kids wasn't were jogging affected. and wearing colored spandex. It was Robert. way worse. <laughs> the future wasn't affected. But what about my hockey hair? Robertson. It was Robertson. The last time I was here was when I gave the demo of the transport to Robertson. But everything was fine then. Yeah, but it must have been after that that he decided to use the transport to be a weapon. So I'm blameless. What are you doing out here? You'll be seen. We were just leaving. Where are you going? We're gonna try and change things. Yeah, right. Can you change the fact that I have crunchy pants? <laughs> Everybody wants to change history. Me, I just want to find a little beefaroni at the bottom of a can. I'd start by finding the guy who invented the time transport and cut his throat. Michael Moore in 30 years. Then we'll take him to the future if we have to. He'll have to agree with us after he sees that. Nick, my boy, how are you? <laughs> okay. Fine. See you in an hour. I'll be the guy sitting at the desk in the mall Skyway. You and your date will be whisked off to Marion Jordan Junior High. So, the guy's office is in a branch library? Have a seat. Do you need your books renewed? Now, I want you to get on this thing, and I want you to find out just what we No, need. no, no, there's nothing to work on. Except your goofy office. <laughs> if you don't stop the project, I will pull my license agreement with your company. Are you threatening me? No, I'm telling you. If we don't stop now, there'll be no future for any of us, including you. You Castleton snob. <laughs> Look, just come to the future with us so you can at least see what you've done. What I have done? What did you think? Did you think we were going to use the transport to take kids on history trips? You knew full well the power of the transport. Just come with us to the future. You have to see what will happen. Forget it. I don't have a swimsuit. You're saying I've affected the future. No, you will. But I haven't yet. We're not in anarchy yet. Yeah, but in 30 years we will be. Yes, well, we'll just blame it on the millennials we'll being lazy again. Right? We'll just control what's going Wait a minute. You read my contract. I can change anything anytime I want. No, <laughs> you read it. No, you read it. The government will appoint a project supervisor. That supervisor has total control over writing any previous cool control. established in this. I think they give traders life imprisonment. But you probably want to check with a lawyer on that. I don't Get them out of my office. 
So, why the big circus mirror? I don't... What wall? St street, street. You don't mind me saying so, well, that's a real cute top, ma'am. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Ooh, he threw Michael Medved at him. <laughs> they got off on the second floor. They're masters of escape. What? 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 Come on, we gotta cock those windows. Let go of my bra strap. Great, now the garbage truck's backing up. Even though I see them running the other way. As Gina Rollins arrives for her temp shift. <laughs> what? How? You understand they're both very dangerous people. Absolutely, shoot to kill. I've got a whole building full of people here. I want them to take it. I got a whole building here of people like you with your bird. JK, what's going on? Matt, it's time for you to decide if you're gonna be one of my team players or not. <laughs> Oh, your chin's gonna have to go in the trunk, sir. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. I come from New York, New York. <laughs> New York, New York. And three. Expensive. That's a How bomb. expensive? Three big ones? Let's make it four bills, and let's get there. Four bills? Kids don't call him the ninth coolest professor at Castleton for nothing. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Nick, they still got taxis in the future? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, you guys are doing fine, fine. No disruptions to our industry no, or nothing? No, no, not at all, nothing. Good to know, thanks. Oh, boy. Yeah? Marty, it's Nick. I'm calling from a payphone. Good Lord, how far back what? did you travel? Well, we got ten cars here with, with more... She was right in telling me. You got quite a lady here, Nick. You're a lucky man. Yep, I can see I why we cut this guy like completely this out of the first yeah. round of this. I think you invent a light bulb. That <laughs> Sorry, taxi turn guy. That don't wear. Yeah. All of a sudden, they got pantyhose that don't run, right? He seems disappointed. That by invention this? of yours can be. The running is the best part. Twenty percent. Think of the global <laughs> consequences. Think of the benefits to Mother Earth. We can tell those ragheads to go screw. Oh, easy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, there's kids watching. Say, tell those ragheads to get lost. Yeah, 100%. Good. Good. Openly racist, xenophobe cabbies on the team. No stopping us now. I've been driving for hours. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm lost. Where the hell is Ben and Jerry? I don't know, sir. This is a government installation. You must leave. Government? Bad attitude. Sir, this is government installation. You must leave. It's restricted. Don't mess with the government. Government. Sir, can't you read? This is government installation. Hey, 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 hey. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Speaking of government installation, have you tried installing some solar panels? Government solar panels? Government solar panels are a great idea worth exactly one million dollars. Government solar panels? Now look! I don't think you fully understand what I'm trying to tell you. Is it government? We need backup. Right at the front gate, we have some nut here. Right now, I'd kill for some chunky monkey. He doesn't mean the ice cream flavor. He, he's a man of strange desires. Back up here the front gate. Hey, I'm karate here. We're gonna get to that plane. Yes, we are. What would MacGyver do? Get canceled. <laughs> get turned in. MasterCard, Visa. Because in time chasers, they don't take American Express. Now usually when I'm in one of these, a big chin guy is trying to kiss me. <laughs> now let's see, he did something with his switch when he was pawing me. Mayday, Mayday? <laughs> uh, 55201. Fake numbers in movies have to begin with at least two fives, uh, don't they? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'll work the register for a while. <laughs> Good. Don't worry, lady, we'll talk you down. Get you guys out there. I think she's gonna drop short of the runway. Hey, she's gonna drop shorts on the... Hey, everybody, she's gonna drop <laughs> shorts on the runway. <laughs> That's funny, Eddie. That's their special truck devoted to when women drop shorts on the runway. <laughs> really funny, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I think I can see the airplane in front of me. Hurry! When shorts are dropped, we'll be there. <laughs> Red alert. Ah, time to sweep up. Um, I don't know. Uh... She's good at faking it. She's been practicing with our hero. Yeah, I, I think it is. You hold on a minute. I think I'm going to be sick. Also, what she says after practicing with our hero. 
It takes a chin. <laughs> hey, your dad? You're out of paper towels in the bathroom. You didn't count on the assistant janitor. <laughs> Airplane hangar sequence, guest directed by Vince McMahon. Oh, people litter a lot in there. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, this is not my hangar. You got that right. Got Whoop. Got oh, which way out of the hangar? Thanks. <laughs> he farted. Hey, shut up. That was you. Sorry. Ah, he's got a time board. I like that the assistant manager of the airfield has no problem shifting into kill mode. <laughs> and the NFL immediately refused to pay any of his medical bills. He started it. Climb aboard, time for another makeout session. Look, it's the spruce gnat. <laughs> leave for 20 minutes and Evil Co is in shambles. I'm a team player. I'm gonna squint the hell out of them. <coughs> I gotta quit smoking. <coughs> I don't know, just seeing myself in the past ought to cause enough of a tangent to, to change all of this. And he's making up physics as he goes along. What if we don't meet in the future? I guess I'll have to bike home from the grocery store. We only met because of the transport. Lisa, uh, I, uh, I uh, want to see women from other centuries. I got a side piece I, thing uh, going with Helen of Troy. I, Lisa. I slipped some artichokes into your cart. Uh-oh. Uh oh his chin butt is engulfing her. Wow. Um, where is your tongue right now? Because I seem to have two. <laughs> I know the script says to kiss you here, but I was thinking maybe we could just, uh, I don't know, work around. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh help. Nice flute. Kung Fu, the unfortunate kiss continues. Let's go. Should I grapple you some more or uh... <laughs> love you? <laughs> I'm willing to settle. Okay, we're here. I like pie. Time is fun. The track meet is starting and starting and starting and starting. Time jumped us. Because time jumping is totally a thing. Don't question it. <laughs> Lisa! 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 Oh, that was a good chicken head. Oh. Lisa! Well, props to that CEO for being the best shot in the universe. Astounding. Reload my pistol. I'm going to bring down an F-16. They're running out of alt. And their myth knots are going down. <laughs> Can't get my umbrella open. Sir, I'm a little worried about lunch. It's almost 12.30. Red skies at night. Red skies yeah. at night. Oh, oh. Think about it. Oh, I'll be gone when the morning comes. Come on! Oh, our Cineburst broke. Hey, I'm actually okay, Nick. Uh, I think I'll be... Hey, where are you going? Bye, Lisa. Hope everything works out. Lisa! Jump! <laughs> oh, thank God. A time boat. I don't think that's a time boat. Mister, you got out of there none too soon. Else with Duh, what? what? Duh. What about his grandpa? Yes. Oh, you idiot. I'm in the past. I'm in the past. Hmm? Lisa, Ew. I'm in the past. <laughs> no monologues with poopy pants, please. Yeah. So long as my past self 
doesn't give the demo for the transport to Robertson, this can still work. You hear that, squirrels and bunnies? <laughs> bunnies. <laughs> Where the hell's the airport? I don't know, but they're really serious. Gen Corp? They're a Hitler Youth home delivery service. <laughs> Greg, the cameraman, eventually got fired for his constant creeping. Mile in 27 minutes, it's pretty good. <laughs> Octung, dude! See Kyle, bro! So is this pre-Fontaine or post-Fontaine? Wait! The clutch kind of sticks and one door doesn't close and you gotta jiggle it to get it into reverse! Whoa, yeah, I did that on my first driver's test. I was still kind of drunk from the night before. <laughs> we also raise llamas if you'd like to pet a llama. My car! My God! What the hell did you do to my car? You drive like a Kennedy, you idiot. <laughs> I don't drive. You got a dead alien in the attic. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey guys, here's a way we can go even slower. Let's do it. Tomorrow belongs to us, brah. <laughs> wow. Never thought I'd actually be hoping for an Ewok to show up. <laughs> yup dub. Ah, hey. Yup dub. And the director passes up a second chance to have him pull a fish out of his pants. It's, it's years to the present, the interest alone would make you a millionaire. Think of it all the really, pink stuff you could buy. Incredible thing. Great. We are going to be very rich. Pink, 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 pinkity pink, pink, pinkity pink, 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 pink. She was dressed by two different blind people. <laughs> One of your planes. But Lisa, I only owned one jar of mustard. I was just trying to get someone to come out and take a look at this. The plane was I'm a liar and have no one shame about plane. it. Registration numbers N5058C. That's right. Oh. So that means we won the lotto or what? What is he at the pound? Uh, remember when everyone got the Nick Miller haircut and started wearing Castleton t shirts? <laughs> Miss the barn dance. Oh, where the hell is my boy? <laughs> well, it seems you forgot you were in the past. The varmint. Say you like Northwest. Go ahead. You're a drug dealer. You're a drug dealer. That's it, that's it. It's funny. There's no way you can afford all this stuff on a future salary. Is the money really going to be worth it? And are you John Lovitz with a mustache? I've been working for Jen for 20 years. You're going to kill us. I'm gonna make you a part of history. Oh, is that a sexual overture of some kind? Look at that. Too many sevens in that date. I'm, I'm going out for a smoke. Okay. Do that, Eddie. <laughs> Enjoy. You do that. Oh, my friends, driving low riders. Someday a lot of puffy old losers with no lives will reenact this battle, man. You're going into battle in that outfit? Ted Nugent's family reunion. <laughs> Just try to go, Harry. We're not watching. Where are we? 1777. Oh, it's Larry King's fifth birthday. Middle of the Revolutionary War. You know, you don't understand. No, you this. don't understand. You are history. JK. LOL. I thought you said we were just going to leave him here. I'll wait back at the transport That's if you want me idea. to, but... Sorry, JK. That's all right. I can handle this myself. I'll see you back at the transport in a minute. Okay. Okay. There goes a damn good weenie. Oh, Matt! I changed my mind. You're fired. Yep, he's Donald Trump. <laughs> now, what were we talking about? No place to run! No place to run? It's the woods of Vermont in the 18th century. I think there are plenty of places to run. Where are they going? Come back! If you can see a character's eye boogers, you're too close. I don't know how to downsize these people. No, no, that guy's just a pirate. I mean, <laughs> damn child safety lock. You guys all right? Yeah, I'm. Uh... Oh God, do I really look like that? <laughs> Thanks. Oh man, who 
is this ugly jerk? Okay. Thanks. I'm welcome. Are you? Do, do I have to date you both? Ew. <laughs> oh, my God, it's good to see you. Look, I don't like you, and I don't like you either. God, it's good to see you. Yeah, I know, but you two, we, uh, what are you trying to say? Oh, he's trying to ask himself out. Aww. That's cute. Man, our forefathers were dumpy. <laughs> What's going to become of Gen Corp? Relax, will you, okay? Shh. Come on. Come into the light. Come on. Come on. Let's have a really weird three-way. Come on. Come on. <laughs> For Castleton. I'm not back here. Drop Marty off. Here's some pre-digested food for you. And he immediately crashes the horse into a pile of boxes. <laughs> Help! Police hijacking! <laughs> He's enjoying the new active lifestyle with his new hair. Huh, and it's all over. Good. Let's, uh... <laughs> Look, he doesn't want you in there. Accept it. Oh, why am I doing that? That's my hand. Oh, check your flaps before taking off. A seven, six, five, four, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight. Thanks, Stephen Hawking. Zero, four, three, two, one. Is it three, two, one, two, one? Whatever. Ooh. Well, better start drinking my urine. And if someone garnished him with parsley. That's nice. nice. 47 Keebler elves were killed today when a light plane plunged into their tree. E.L. Fudge remains in critical condition. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get honey like poo. Oh, he's like poo, all right. <laughs> <sighs> so what, did the tree contribute money to the film? Why are they showing this? He's climbing an ant. Boom, hum, get off me. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, movie, but uh, we'd like to move on, please. Oh, Spielberg stole that bit for Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. He should use his chin as a piton. He mm, could. Yep. <clears throat> Would you just climb out of the damn tree? <laughs> Crying out. Ah, time squirrels! Finally! Hang on, I left my keys up there. Damn it, Nick! Hi, I'm here too. Hey, Nick, there was a stairs on the other side of the tree. I have a severe injury to my sleeve. Oh, man, it's my boss. Oh, man, it's that guy from R&D. <laughs> oh, Nick. I have an aileron up my... Well, anyway... You should have just left this one alone, son. Sorry, Dad. It never would have affected you. You know, I wish Uncooked Liver had been the star of this movie. You still don't get it, do you? Kevin Spacey was Kaiser Soze. It would have, it would have affected the rest of the world. Would have. <laughs> We're all connected, you fool. <laughs> you, me, Nipsey Russell, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Chesty Morgan, Manny Ramirez. The kid who played Brian on ALF, Boxcar Willie, everything. Connect me to this. Ah! Oh, well, thank you, movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. He's dead, but don't worry, they have a spare. Ah, look is here. Outfiles Socrates, Billy the Kid, Abe Lincoln, Joan of Arc. Yeah. Damn good prom, honey. <laughs> Mr. Robertson, this is Nick Miller, the next Edison. Oh, now, wait a minute. That's a bit much. Well, I'm going to steal everything from this Tesla guy. And Mr. Robertson. Wow, he was right. I am the next Edison. <laughs> Can I call you JK? I'd like to present you... With some soiled pants. With Gilda Heinz, star of the new GenCore television commercials. Wow. 80 years old and a world-class skydiver. 80? We see her everywhere, across the entire logo. What? All of your t-shirts, all of your merchandise. What the hell is going on here? What's the matter? You loved this idea five hours ago. You brought me up here for this. No, sir. No, sir. This plane, this plane can travel through time. Huh. You just wait until you see all this electronic equipment. Wow, that's a lot of butane cans. Here, 
Hot, you're fired. Like you good. But you gotta understand, this thing. I you, we, you, I'm you. I'm Batman. You had the misfortune of running into me. I'm a life wrecking idiot. <laughs> At least he didn't shoot you this time. You could have just not called him, you dick! My wife and I have twins on the way! Yes. Delete copies of film? Yes. Delete memory of film from mankind's consciousness? Yes. yes. It'd be a completely different movie if he had one of the other Nick's torsos in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah. I'll put these in a Ziploc, let them get brown in my fridge. Back in the Apple Zone! <laughs> yeah! These aren't plaid. She's reading the instructions for carrots. <laughs> Was Kitaro playing in the dairy case? Okay, Nick, don't blow it. This is your big chance. Deep breath now, and... Hi, I won't kill you this time! Oh, damn it! Uh, I promise! Come on! I'll try! <laughs> Who's playing the chamber pot? <laughs> Matthew Paul? Oh, Pink Boy! Yeah, Pink Boy. Pink Boy, right. George Woodard is J.K. Roberts. <laughs> this was written? I don't think so. Walking on, walking on, walking on, broken glass.